From Kickstarted, here are the top five biggest scams in crowdfunding history. Number five, Mythic, the story of gods and men. Upstart indie maker Little Monster Productions launched a new video game project called Mythic in early 2012. They claim to be a team of developers formerly employed by industry mainstays Blizzard and Activision. Gamers took notice and wondered why no one had ever heard of these guys in their slick looking game. It was quickly revealed that Sean Westfall, the man behind Little Monster, wasn't actually a developer at all, but had formerly been an office aide at a different video game company. He had also stolen all of the artwork for it. With his credibility shattered, the campaign was canceled before any backers lost their money. Number 4. Deacon Josh Dibb, aka Deacon, a musician with the group Animal Collective, launched his Kickstarter with good intentions. He was raising money to fund a trip to perform at a festival in Mali and make a new CD, all in support of a Mali nonprofit group that fights slavery. This was in 2009, and Kickstarter was still pretty new. So, when Deacon raised $25,000, people were truly excited. That excitement became disappointment when Deacon basically left the project on the back burner for three years without ever explaining why. Eventually, he spoke up and apologized, and claims he gave all the money straight to the charity. Regardless, many of his backers felt cheated. Number 3. Zionize This doesn't appear to be an outright scam, but a case where the challenges of crowdfunding are clearly illustrated. The Zionize campaign launched in 2011, promising to deliver a pair of glasses with a built-in mic and camera that could stream real-time HD video and audio to the web. The project raised over $340,000. However, it was an ambitious endeavor and the team behind Zion Eyes underestimated the time and money it would take to develop. Things quickly fell apart. In two years and a lot of bad press later, it was clear that these eyes would never open. Number 2. Copy-Paste Number 2 on our list gets the award for the laziest attempt at fraud. Scammers took the images, video, and text from active campaigns on Kickstarter and simply launched campaigns for the same projects on another crowdfunding site, Indiegogo. The idea was to mirror existing campaigns, hoping to collect from someone else's hard work. These copy-paste scams were quickly spotted by the original content creators and shut down. And number one on our list. Well, there is no number one. To date, there hasn't been a truly noteworthy, earth-shaking, fraudulent campaign. Fraud is a major concern of the entire crowdfunding community because it seems so easy to pull off. However, there have been relatively few issues to date. Surely, scammers and con artists will find a way into the system, but for now, the world of crowdfunding is relatively safe.